All parties in the matter of Rogers versus LaCourse. Step forward. Jessica Rogers is suing her ex-boyfriend, Glenn LaCourse, for unpaid loans and the cost of a wedding dress. Mr. Rogers, you dated and then, according to you, became engaged to Mr. LaCourse. And over the period of that brief relationship, you made a series of loans to him? Yes, Your Honor. One was a $600 loan that you wired to him, and the other was a car payment that you made for him. According to you, Mr. LaCourse gave you a check for $750 to reimburse you for those loans, which you deposited in your bank, and the check bounced. Yes. I assume you have proof of that. Yes, I do, Your Honor. And the second thing is that he promised to pay for your wedding dress. Yes. Which I assume you have. I am making payments on the wedding dress. So you don't have it? I do not have it. It is still at the dress shop. Well, I would stop making payments on it. If I stop making payments on it. Because he's married. So he's not marrying anybody else. Right, Mr. LaCourt? Yes, ma'am. May I see the $750 check, please? Who was this check from, sir? Um, I was selling something on the internet, ma'am, and I received that check in the mail. So you received the check in the mail and you gave it to her? No, ma'am. She uh, volunteered to take that check back to her account and deposit in her bank account. I did not ask her to do that. She okay, did. just a second. And this check is dated September? Yes, ma'am. Is that when you gave it to her to cash? Yes, ma'am. So you gave it to her to cash for you? No, she took. She, I gave her the check to cash, yes, because she said she was going to volunteer to no, take it If you gave it to her to cash for you, then she gave you the $750 in cash because for some reason you didn't want to put it in your bank. If you gave her the check for herself, then there had to be a reason that you gave her the check for herself. Do you understand what I'm saying, Mr. LaCourse? Yes, I do, Your Honor. Don't try to outthink me, sir. You're going to lose. You gave her a $750 check that you got for some scam that you were doing on the Internet. You didn't no, want to was put, not doing a scam. You didn't internet. want to put the check in your own bank. No, ma'am, you're wrong. I didn't. I well, then what did you give her the check for? Because I didn't have my ID at the time. I lost my ID in my wallet. What was she supposed to do with the money? Uh, keep it or hold on to it. Just a minute. Keep it. For what? Um, for her kids. She has five kids, Your Honor. So you made her a gift of it? Um, if you want to call that, but I don't believe it was a gift, no. Well, what did you think it was if it wasn't a gift? It was just because she was coming down to see me. Uh, she would come down to see me numerous times without asking permission or nothing like that. <clears throat> <clears throat> you, you sound so ridiculous. Do you have family? Yes, ma'am, I Aren't do. you humiliated? No. I mean, look at the things that you've said to me so far. I gave it to her because she has five kids and I was helping her out, right? I gave it to her just to put in the bank and hold. I gave it to her because she was coming down to visit me so much and I, I never asked her to come. Look at all the three things you said to me in the course of less than 90 seconds, Mr. LaCourse. Yes, ma'am. You're going to get the $750 back because clearly it was for repayment for money you had sent to him. Clearly. And I have a text message saying that he would take care of the $750. Just a, just a <clears throat> second. I... Listen to me. See, I got it. As far as the wedding dress is concerned, I would stop paying for it and consider myself lucky. <laughs> $750 judgment for the plaintiff.